Welcome to Charlie's Cards, where baseball's greats are recognized. We bust open boxes and rip packs to find baseball's superstars, so let's play ball! Hello everybody, Charlie's Cards here. Welcome back. It's December 26th. It's giveaway day. So I want to thank all the contestants and all the individuals who desired to be a giver. And I have six names, or I have six uh, YouTube handles here in my hand. And we'll be getting to those in just a little bit. And this is the first prize valued at a good 40 to 40 to 40, a lot of money. And I don't know if this is uh, Advantage Dad from Rad and Dad, but I'm going to be put them in, putting them in my A's hat and drawing one out. But first, I got uh, this in the mail today. And this is a Topps Online exclusive called Super 70s Sports Baseball. It includes one pack. 20 cards per pack, and look for an autograph. And they have like a 70s guy there with some bubble gum and big hair and mustache and sunglasses. And kind of looks like an Astros outfit, actually, which is super 70s. So I thought I'd crack that open and see what we got. So I bought I bought uh, three of them. They, they weren't terribly... Uh, priced so uh, I was looking at them and I was looking at the checklist I thought that'd be pretty cool uh, you know me I like my vintage cards I like my vintage look and and uh, this is about as close as I'm gonna get to to opening a box of 70s cards so let's see what the first one had to offer and uh, see if we want to open some more so uh, the online ones really, they really go, uh, overboard, try to protect them, so, they do a really good job, so, I got a large piece of foam, and a small stack of cards, so, let's, uh, let's look at Gary Carter real quick, and then we'll, uh, flip it over and open it up, so, uh, there's 20 cards, and we're looking for autographs and short prints and whatever else might be in here. So I'm going to open it up like that. And like that. And see if we can... Uh, very sticky. Very 70-ish. I don't know if I would call that a certain year in the 70s, but that's probably actually a much later uh, Gary Carter because that's a dual-hinged catcher's glove, which uh, wasn't around till the, uh, till the early 80s. The uh, catcher's glove in the old days didn't have a hinge at all, which is this uh, this area right here. And this, because it's got the seam in the middle of it, is called a double-hinged catcher's glove, I believe. So it's got two hinges on it so that it'll wrap around the ball better. They did create a single hinge and then later on came up with a double hinge. So let's... Uh, Let's see what we get. There's Expos. I believe that would be a world champion Expos. So let's look at the back. Carter was an MLB all-star for both the Expos and the Mets. There's the Super 70s logo. The Montreal Expos. 
and there's no numbers on the back we're looking for on the bottom so was that Cooperstown collection okay there's a Mookie Betts and there's our autograph the third one as I suspected but look at that Two of ten, blue, Al Oliver. With the Texas Rangers. And it is a sticker auto. So let's look at the back and see what that looks like. Three oh three. Oliver hit 300 or better each year from 1976 through 1984. Now, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame. He'll help me out there, but, I mean, it's of 10, so that's fire. All right, so let's go through this some more. Steve Garvey. Look at that, Dwight Gooden. That's cool. The Robin Yaunt. Jacob DeGrom. There's Mr. Hit, Tony Gwynn. There's a Fred McGriff. Daryl Strawberry. That's cool, Daryl Strawberry. All right, so there's a Fernando Tatis. There's the Joe Morgan in the Astros outfit. There's a Vladdy. All rise. Oh, Babe Ruth. Roberto Clemente. So what do you guys think of this set? Oh, Ty Cobb. Dusty Baker, Willie McCovey, and Magnificent Mustaches. <laughs> huh. Dennis Eckersley with the Indians. So I guess this is like an insert. Magnificent mustaches. And then look at this. The White Sox. R Rich or Goose Gossage. Ultimate uniforms. Chicago White Sox with shorts. Huh. Okay. No Photoshop tricks here. This is when baseball was played with collared jerseys and thigh length shorts. Okay, so maybe this wasn't commonplace, but the White Sox did wear this combination three times during the 1976 season. Any chance for a throwback night? <laughs> All right. Well, that was cool. Interesting set. I think I'll enjoy opening the others. Hopefully they're not all duplicates. <laughs> and I'll have to look up the, uh, the autograph and see how I did there. So that's different. What did you guys think of that? Give me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of that Super 70 Sports Pack. I don't remember how much they were. Again, I don't know if this is going to favor Dad or not, but... I guess we'll see when I pull Dad out. <laughs> but I have some great channels that were uh, more than willing to go above and beyond the call of duty and send out some packages. So in the same right, if you want to thank the people that uh, these folks here that sent you a package, uh, I'd appreciate the comments down below. Tell everybody uh, what they sent you. 
uh, if you don't have a YouTube channel, or just a shout out saying thank you for uh, looking out for me. So if you did receive a package from one of these guys, I'd like to hear about it. A uh, Christmas card or whatever you got. So let's begin. Let me get some of this out of the way here. All right, the contest rules were uh, send out a package with uh, either the hashtag Merry Christmas or the hashtag Jesus is the reason. And most participants put them both down. So I can only be fair by saying that uh, each one of these guys will get one drawing and then we'll pull it out since there's only six. The first one, Stix G. Stix G, thank you very much for your giving hospitality. And this was our first entry. Cards, guns, and collectibles. Great guy. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Same with Stix G. If you haven't seen Stix G's channel, please go over there and give him a sub. All these guys, I'd like you to check them out if you haven't before. Uh, poor Man Stack. This guy sent out like five cards. I almost was compassionate enough to say, man, that dude deserves a prize. So, poor man, tell me what you collect. I In my about section, um, I think I did. In my about section is my email, okay? So, the winner and all participants can email me, please, so I can reach out to you. The next one, Muskoka Card Collectors. I believe he's in Canada. So we have a couple Canadian participants. All right. So if you haven't checked out Muskoka Card Collector, check him out. And then we got Rad Dad and B Dog. Rad Dad and B Dog, thank you for your submission. Great job, gentlemen. Appreciate it. And our last. Participant, Placata Cards. Placata. Uh, Walter's a great guy over there. And uh, their last submission, if you haven't seen it, their whole family got involved. It was a great presence. Uh, and it showed decorations and it talked about Boxing Day and everything. So it was really cool. Uh, why Boxing Day was interesting to me, today is actually my birthday, and I've always seen it on my calendar. Uh, whenever uh, it's my birthday, I also have to write below it, my birthday, and I always saw Boxing Day, and I was wondering what it was. So, my interpretation of Boxing Day was that uh, you took a box, and you got all the old stuff that got replaced for Christmas. So if you got clothes, you put some clothes in the box. And if you got some toys, you put some toys in the box. You got rid of some of your old stuff and you donated it to, uh, you donated it to the Goodwill or to a, a family in need or something like that. And so that's another reason why I decided to do the giveaway thing because it meant something because Boxing Day was a part of my birthday. So, thank you, thank you, Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, Charlie's Card, thank you very much. We did have a, a wonderful uh, Christmas, me and my wife cooked some awesome food together, and we had the grandchildren over today to celebrate Papa's birthday, always a blessing, always a blessing, family is very important. All right, here we go. All right, so here's the rules. The third name I pull out of the hat will be the winner of the 2019 Top Series 2 Hanger Box, valued at over $40. And if you didn't get your submission in, I feel sorry for you. All right, so here's the criteria for the winner. I have five hanger boxes. And when you go in my About section of my YouTube channel, you will find my email there. You will email me and tell me which hanger box you'd like. One through five. Which one? One, two, three, four, five. 
and then put your address down there so I can get it to you. All right, the third one. I will raise it up here, and I will come down for the first one. Sticks G. Sorry, Sticks. All right, here we go. Number two. Cards, guns, and collectibles. Okay. All right, so if you're still in the hat, looks like we got Placata, we got Rad and Dad, and we got one more. We got poor man. All right, next one drawn. Here it is. Get it in there. Pick this one right here. All right, what do we got? Hey, poor man stack. Congratulations, poor man stack. You are officially the winner of Charlie Card's first giveaway. And Reach out to me in the, my email in the about section and uh, give me an email. Tell me which box you want, one through five, and tell me uh, your address so I can get this out to you. Congratulations. I hope you pull some fire out of it, like uh, a Vladi short print no number or a Tatis rookie card or something great like that. And when you do open it, hopefully you'll be able to open it online and show everybody what you get. All right, so thank you, everybody. All my contestants, if you want to reach out and share one name with me, I will be happy to see if I can bless you all with something. So thank you, everybody. 150, I'm about ready to do a 200. We'll see if I do a 200. Uh, and we're going to begin building and working on the channel too. So thank you much, everybody. Congratulations to poor man stack, poor man stack. Reach out to me and we'll get you your prize. Thank you, everybody. Charlie's cards. It's getting ready for a new year. Let's hope for the best for 2021. Huh? All right. Thank you, everybody. Charlie's cards over and out.